Hey YouTube, this is Michelle or Shrinking Shell VSG and I'm coming in to what I believe is my week 58 update from the vertical sleeve gastrectomy that I had in Oxford, Mississippi with Dr. Michael King. Um, this is going to be a real quick update because I'm getting ready to go get my granddaughter. Um, I started my liquid pre-op diet on July 15th, 2013 and I weighed uh, 418 pounds. Last week I weighed in at 255.2 pounds which was a 2.2 loss from the week before uh, which was awesome because I'd been in a stall for about a month to a month and a half. And then I weighed in today at 253.8 which is a 1.4 loss from the week before and that brings my total to 164.2 pounds um, since July 15th. So I'll take that. That's pretty incredible. I'm just thankful that that stall has broken. Um, I'd really like to be at my goal weight uh, by February 3rd and that's my next appointment with my surgeon. So I'm really, really pushing it to working hard to get there. Um, I've started my gym. I think I mentioned this the last time. I go seven days a week now to the gym. I was doing six, but I've gone up to seven. I work, uh, or I walk every morning between 4.30 and 5. I get there, and I walk for one hour on the treadmill, um, and then I go back three days a week in the afternoon for 45 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes, and I do strength training. Um, I really enjoy the strength training. Uh, I enjoy it a lot more than the cardio, but the cardio I feel better afterwards. The strength, I just, I really enjoy it. Um, I've had a couple of awesome NSVs. The first one is I'm wearing my wedding ring set all the time. And of course I don't have it on now, but I wear it all the time. Um, it fits, it's the first time it's fit in about 15 years. So that is so awesome. And one of the things I wanted to do at Goal Weight was to get a new wedding set, but I don't know if I'm going to now. I'm so thrilled that this is, you know, that it fits now. Um, I might just get it resized and just stick with it. The other NSV is my BMI is now not uh, considered class three. I think it's still super morbidly obese. Um, I am now in class two, which I don't put a lot of emphasis on the BMI chart, so it really surprised me how emotional it made me um, when I realized that my BMI was 39. I started out with a 65.5 BMI and now it's 39 point something. I, I'm not real sure. So um, yeah, it's pretty awesome because you know, in four points, I will no longer be considered a candidate for weight loss surgery. So I think that's going to be more emotional for me than I really realized um, because you know I don't think the BMI chart is accurate I've seen people that are still considered overweight and honestly I thought they could use gain a few pounds so I'm not really going by that uh, my doctor wants my BMI to be under 30 so we'll see um, which I do too but I don't put as much weight in that as I do how I look and how I feel uh, some other uh, things that have been going on with me is, um, I think I've mentioned this before, uh, my medicines, I'm being able to wean myself off a lot of my medicines. Um, my doctor and I are working on my beta blocker now, trying to get me completely off of it. Um, but we still might think it'll take a while because I still get these episodes where my heart starts racing, which is common when you are trying to come off a beta blocker, according to her. So... Uh, I don't want to rush it. I would rather just take my time with it and do it the right way than just try to hurry up and get off my medications. Um, as in my, as I talked about my fitness, as in my nutrition, I uh, still track everything that goes in my mouth. I weigh everything. I don't measure with cups. I, I prefer to use a scale because I just find that to be uh, more accurate because I, I I want my numbers and I want to see exactly what I've eaten um, and that's one thing advice I give I've had several people ask me uh, some pointers um, that is one thing that I just I emphasize you don't realize how much of a bite you know I've, I just had a bite of this or a bite of that 
how that adds up. Like I had a bite of my son's mac and cheese. And sure, it was a fattening recipe that I used. But one bite, it was like maybe a tablespoon, maybe that much, was like 50 some calories. Blew me away. I mean, when you're only eating, you know, let's say eight to 900 calories a day, that's a big chunk of it. So my fitness pal is the what I use and I could not go without it. It is, I, I, I'm constantly putting that on my phone and it's just something that is important to me. Um, another one is my water. I drink, I try to drink 120 ounces a day. Um, I never get less than 100 and if I have to stay up an extra 10 minutes to drink a bottle of water, I do. Um, I usually get 120, I sometimes get 140, but I never get less than 100 now. Um, that is something that I notice if I don't drink, um, I, I just, I don't lose. Um, and also, I've had so many people tell me how much better my hair looks, how much better, how much clearer my skin looks, how much more useful, and I've noticed a difference in my skin. Um, my face is a little bit firmer and I think it's all because of the hydration. I, I stay completely hydrated all the time. But uh, let's see. I guess that's really about it. Um, it's been a, kind of a quiet week. I was sick last week so I was just pleased that I had a weight loss because I had to take some NyQuil a couple days and I was blown away. NyQuil has 93 calories and 19 carbs for the liquid and that's really all that worked for me. Uh, I had such a sinus infection. I'm still a little hoarse and still a little stuffy from it. So we'll see. Um, I'm hoping to start the Couch to 5K program in the next week or so. Um, I think I've mentioned this before too. I live in Mississippi and we have, you know, anywhere between 75 to 100% humidity most days. Um, so I really want to wait until that slacks off because I would rather do that actually outside. I'm a I'm kind of clumsy, and I'm afraid um, I'll fall and make an idiot out of myself if I try to do that on the treadmill. So I would just feel better doing it on the road in front of our house because we live out in the county, so it's, you know, pretty quiet most times. So I guess that's really about it. Um, I've said the word so, I think, so many times. Um, I hope everyone has an awesome week, and I'm really working hard on getting weekly updates uh, more regularly now. So hopefully I will see you next week and take care.